Hey, absolutely. You know what? This next chat uh, this morning is definitely going to make you sit at the edge of your seat and take a note and pay attention. Now, banting has become the, the it word amongst most society circles uh, where every person knows at least one uh, person in their group of friends who is either fully committed to the banting way of life or has tried banting uh, at some stage as well. So when a book titled Banting Sucks re recently got introduced, the markets of, you know, to the market it definitely made heads turn. And this morning we are joined by the author, author of this new anti-banting book, uh, Dr. Howard Ripko, who is a medical doctor and an expert on nutrition as well. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Oh. Very, very controversial title right there. I know, I, like it. I know. I but like very it. controversial, but very interesting yeah. book. I love the fact that it's, uh, it's well written. Thank you so much for that. Thank now, you. I think it's safe to say that South Africa is a banting nation, but you're saying banting sucks, which means that you're not in favor, it, in favor of it. Tell us why. I think banting is a it's time it's come. It's a hundred year old concept that yeah. needs to be adjusted. And it targets sugar, blood sugar, and by reducing carbs, and it misses half the, the picture. And as a result, many, many people have failures on banting. They either reach plateaus or they find that they don't lose weight at all. Yeah. I love that you talk about that banting is not for everybody, but it seems to be an all inclusive term like anyone can do it because yes. some people will achieve success and others not. Yeah, and, and the, the number of people that don't achieve success is oh, quite high. Yeah. yeah. Look, I, I, wanna, I wish we had more time, you know, to talk yeah. through this book yeah. from cover to cover, but there's one particular point I want to touch on as well. In yeah. the book, you make a rather controversial claim <laughs> saying that skipping breakfast could be the best thing that you can do for your health. And I think most of us, uh, I can say speak for all South Africans, we grew up, you know, <clears throat> taught that breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day. You say no. Yeah. John Harvey Kellogg is the originator of that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And why did he do that? Because he wants to sell breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so Kellogg's is the, is the, is the breakfast and yeah. that's how it is. Yeah. And it's become ingrained into the medical uh, societies. They teach us in medical school. Mm. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And what happens is as soon as you start eating breakfast, you eat the whole day. Yeah. Wow. So what you're saying is if you skip breakfast, your chances of achieving weight loss is, is it weight loss? Yeah, because It's health and weight loss. Okay, wow. it's, it's not just weight loss. Can I throw it to, to somebody okay. like myself who needs to, you know, obviously I like to focus on, you know, gaining muscle mass. Um, yep. I need to eat quite a bit. I mean, okay. would skipping breakfast be beneficial for someone like me? 100%. When do you train? In the morning or the night? I try to do it in the mornings, yeah. So like after the show, I would go to the, to the gym. Do you take protein shakes and stuff like that? I don't do a protein shake before, I do it afterwards. Okay. Um, but I find if I don't eat something before, obviously I lack sufficient energy. Okay, so. well that, that's against the origination of, of, of how we worked. And our ancestors woke up in the morning, do you think next to them was, was breakfast? <laughs> Probably not. Right, so what, what, is the, go hunt. what was the game? You had to go and get food because you didn't have food in the supermarket. You had to go and get it. And in order to get food, you had to be on top of your game. Okay. So that means you've got to be at your best without food. So right. I think you should try it. I will definitely try it, yeah. Give I'll me a buzz if it doesn't work. <laughs> Give the doctor a buzz if it doesn't work. Well, definitely some awesome claims that are made in the book as well. I think it's definitely worth checking out also the fact that you explain the differences between the foods that uh, Banting says you should have and what you should actually be having. The book is called Banting Sucks by Dr. Howard Ribko, so you should definitely go and check that out. And thank, thank you, doctor, for being with us today. Absolute pleasure. Yeah. Very, thank very you, fascinating read. This book really got my attention this morning. I'm going to definitely try that one out. Thank you so much, doctor. Right now, though, we are off to the kitchen. Once again, with the culinary hotline, we're talking herbs this morning.